world today is so fast-paced, passing by in blurs of bright color and insignificant events. It's so easy nowadays to fall into the void. Our own problems are our only concerns, and more often than not, we lose our ability to appreciate one another. This was especially true for Chandrika, an exhausted student whose only concern lately had been her own stresses. She allowed her mind to close off like many of us do, and allowed her problems to consume her. That is, until the outside world intruded into her bubble. Chandrika, annoyed, glanced at the woman beside her who was mumbling. Her annoyance prevented her from seeing that the woman was praying. Staring, Chandrika played with the idea of confronting the old woman before she realized the woman had stopped. She looked up, only to find two eyes looking right back at her. The woman, aware of Chandrika's gaze, explained that she was simply praying and sorry for disturbing her. Embarrassed and wanting to lessen the awkwardness, Chandrika asked the old woman what she was praying for. The lady told her that it was a Buddhist chant and this shocked Chandrika more than anything. Chandrika told the woman she had never thought that many women chose to be Buddhists. The elderly woman smiled and explained how at her temple the head monk was a female. They did not discriminate and restrict due to gender. All humans were the same, regardless of their gender. Intrigued, Chandrika briefly told the woman about her experience with Hinduism. She knew that women were incorporated, especially within parts like Shaktism, where a goddess called Shakti was the central deity worshipped. The woman listened intently, asking questions every now and then. Chandrika wondered if perhaps it was her own closed-mindedness that allowed her to become so ignorant about such a large religion. Though the woman was Buddhist, she let Chandrika continue to speak about her beliefs. Chandrika finally asked what the older woman had been praying for. She smiled, but why did she have that entire conversation, and replied, to be enlightened. Chandrika stood up as her bus arrived, and as she walked out, the woman stopped her. She placed a hand on Chandrika's arm, bowed slightly, and ended their conversation with, and I have been blessed with knowledge from the most unexpected source. Chandrika's short conversation with the woman changed her perception of an entire culture, and all it took was a little understanding and openness. We often forget just how human we are. Our emotions get the better of us, and our daily lives consume our views. Yet sometimes in life, all it takes is a brief interaction with a stranger to stop and appreciate each other. Who knows what we might learn? Thank you.